How little men know about worlds, about light, about the great dark that boils behind all. Once there was the void, absolute, perfect, boring. It ended with a blessing. From a wave of the Creator's hand, compassion and wisdom spilt into nothingness. But such marvelous gifts often come with hidden prices. From the wondrous fountain of light was born the nameless fire that drives the deep well of midnight, a counter to all life. As creation rolled on, so too did the shadow. Unchallenged and untouched, darkness spread, burning and killing, raping land, sky and flesh. Falling upon countless worlds, it consumed and corrupted all life. Eventually, the shadow fell upon a mundane world of feigned love and exaggerated loss. Curiously, this blundering blue planet hosted men not easily purged. Beneath the temple church is a secret passageway. It will be safe from the invasion. You must take my granddaughter there. What you're doing is senseless. It's suicide. We Templar have to assault the Hellgate, no matter the odds. It's the only way the refugees can safely go into hiding. You have to protect her. She has a greater destiny. Convoys still reach the Hellgate. We'll get there on foot. The refugees? They are safely away. Good. These will be the last two. Follow her. She'll take you the rest of the way. No. Temple Church is just beyond the no. building complex. You can't go. Jessica. You can't leave me. Jessica! Listen to me. You must go with Lyra now. Where I have to go, you cannot follow. One day you will understand. Let's go, Jessica. Love you, Jessica. Stay close, Jessica. Wait. Demons. Go! We'll cover you!
before the day was done, the minions of hell would lay ruin to the world above. My grandfather led the massive counterattack against the demons, knowing his army of Templar would have no chance against their limitless numbers. But his sacrifice brought time to hide and prepare. Remember the dead. Yes. But fight for the living. Though the Great Dark believed the song of these men neared its end, it was only then our story could truly begin. Hello everyone, this is Cypherdeck, and as you see, this is Hellgate London. This is a game that came out back whenever I was a kid and was probably one of my favorite games of all time because it was a single player game but was also a multiplayer MMO is essentially how they classified it back whenever it came out. So just to give you an overview of this game it is created by flagship studios which is a group of people who separated from bethesda so they do have um it's actually a team that worked a lot on diablo and other games within that company so that's kind of where you're seeing a lot of the aspects in this game so let's go ahead and get into the game. I'll show you why I really like it and hopefully you'll like it as well. All right, so the first thing I wanna do is just go over all the classes that are in the game. There are a total of, I believe, six. So the first one is the Blade Master who is probably one of the second highest DPS classes in the game. He is pretty much your as close to a rogue as you can get though he dual wields swords so he can be a warrior as well he wears a uh, heavy plate armor and is pretty darn tough so then we have the guardian who is of course your big plate armor class with uh the sword and board and this is probably the route we go. I don't know. We may go another route as well. Then you have the engineer who uses guns and has bots to aid him and his group. If you were to play multiplayer. Um, mostly it, the bots can slow a mob. It can heal uh, the character. Also it can haste the character and so on. Then you have the Marksman, who is your long-range DPS. Um, and his DPS isn't so uh, high, but his damage is going to be in the upper echelon uh, next to the Evoker, who is the Wizard class. And they are very strong. They have AoEs. They have nice ranged abilities. But, again gonna probably end up being um, a class I'm not going to play because it's hard to get into it then you have the summoner and this is probably one of my favorite classes that I played I played this class to the end game and very easy to play you, you can go so many routes with this class so uh, probably a really good um, choice but I think I'm going to go ahead and go with my original gut feeling and go with the Guardian. Just because of the fact that they are really simple and up in your face. So, talking about faces, let's go ahead and choose a face. Something a little bit more rough. Ruffian? Not, no. There we go. That'll work. And I'm going to go ahead and let's see here. White kind of like that gives an elvish feeling to it actually I don't know probably yeah I think I'll go with the white and then the facial hair none let's see what kind of hairstyle he has uh, that's actually pretty fine I, I'll, I don't mind that all right and then we'll go ahead and give him bulk by the way using the skills in the game 
your your warrior or your guardian can be a paladin. So you, if you use the right stats or the right um, trees, you can get him to be a paladin. And I'll show you what I mean by that in just a moment. So I'm going to go ahead and just name him Augur. There we go. Because augurs in real life, they um, they dig down and they um, they they buck up. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get in. All right. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and uh, press enter so we can see this uh, transmission coming in. And this is from Murmur, which is actually a primary person in the game. He is what actually leads you to all the different uh, stations. And he's pretty much just saying, help. <laughs> so we'll go ahead and find him in just a minute, but we have to change a couple things. Let's go ahead and press K. This brings up our talent trees, and this is what I was talking about with, if you go this route, where you get the prayer of healing, you have the healing uh, or the uh, or aura of renewal which will actually heal you seven health per minute per enemy within the aura so you want to have a lot of people fighting you at one time so you can always have that health regeneration and then this i believe is just a um yeah it's a big heal 25 percent of your health and then um i think this is it uh groups armor increases by 100 percent groups regeneration um regen oh it's an actual heal per minute so again go down this line and you'll get that ability i don't think this is uh phase extra i don't think you'll actually i think you'd put a point in this just to get to this if you wanted to but there's so many other things that you really want to uh think about getting like um taunt which is kind of an odd choice is an ability that you do want to get because of the fact that the more mobs that you have around you which taunt is a big area uh spell the more healing you get so uh, oh what i was going to do was i was going to go in here and drag this over to here that turns my right button or my right mouse button into a shield bash kind of like skyrim if you want to think of it that way Press F to loot. And um, just make sure you find all the mobs if you can. Uh, because the experience here is good enough usually to get you to level 2. You just have to find all of the guys. Um, or, or you won't get it. And I keep saying um and I, I do apologize for that. So we're going to go ahead and get this quest. I don't, you I don't read the quest just because they are so long I mean just what they're asking you to do I, you get a quest so log soon. that tells you what you need to do this guy pretty much wants an escort to town that's all he's here for and so that's what we're going to do let's go up in here just make sure Yep, so this guy is a fallen yes. uh, guardian, and he wants you to take a note to his um, captain. So that's all that's about. Goodbye. There we go. I love whenever you slam their heads off. It just makes it more... More. Alright, and I don't see anyone out there. Does There's a zombie. Feels like there should be more. Yep, he's dead. He's dead dead. Okay, there's the rest. I don't think we're going to get leveled uh, with only three. so so close so close we'll get we'll get leveled by just turning in this quest well we won't 
We'll get it by doing the first quests. There's a group of three quests that you get right off the bat once we get in here. And by completing those quests, we'll, we'll definitely get it. Alright. And that's kind of what a guardian looks like in full gear. Though, they get a whole lot better. Especially once you get your match sets. And um, the, the actual different kinds of elemental swords. All right, there's Murmur. You can't blame me. I voted for Crane. All right. Now, there's very little actual voice acting. Good luck. But some of the voice acting in this game is hilarious. And you'll see in just a moment. All right, so this here is our stash. This is where we keep all of our items. And we got gloves. This is three. Those are three. By the way, you can use a grappling hook if you want. I don't use it just because of the fact that I'm I'm a, a guardian. You don't really need it. I am absolutely thrilled at the prospect of serving the order. And you can see here, here's a toxic uh, sword, and then certain mobs that have a to a toxic resistance will resist it, of course. Also, you can see there's mod slots. You can, I think there's weapons that have like six mods that you can put in them. And then you have uh, shields give you an actual shield. Kind of like what you would see on a ship in Star Trek. You have to get through the shield to actually do damage to the ship. That's kind of the same thing as how this works. So the first thing we want to do is try to get one that has stats like this one adds 20 stun defense and health regeneration we need health regeneration so that's probably what we'll try to get towards and then uh, once we get up into levels we'll have <laughs> shields that no, are just I've insane but anyway he sells weapons armor and also modifications whenever you get to the other cities or the other towns I'm your man, sir. He wants us to get his leg back so that we so that See he can ya. give us his current leg. And that's him. And we were <laughs> this guy murmurs. And that's the trouble. <laughs> he's hilarious to listen to. This guy can be really funny or he can be really weird. If I continue to drink lots of milk. Will I keep growing into an awesomely powerful Greek god like yourself? If you don't come back, I'll die. But not before I kill your family. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and do this first mission. Now, I'm going to probably end after this mission just because of the fact that the intro did take up a lot of time. But this mission allows us to actually take on our first boss and he is a very tough boss so we'll go ahead and all right there we go and we're gonna go ahead and I already know exactly what I want to get first thing is we're gonna add stamina just because of the fact that we're gonna need it against this guy coming up we'll go ahead and put this on put that right there and you can see it's already on. What it does is it adds health per mob around us. So we're definitely going to need a uh, fight with a lot of mobs. If we ever get low on health. There we go. Easy. Peasy. <laughs> We're already we've killed nine zombies out of the There we go. Ten out of ten. Alright, so you would think that fighting this boss that's coming up that you'd want a lot of guys around you, but the boss uh actually conjures mobs, uh their little larva that will explode next to you. Well, those larvae actually act just the same as a mob does. So, you don't really have to worry about it too much. You'll, you'll definitely get 
where's the guy at? He's hiding. Oh. There you go. Just want to make sure that you mix in. As you can see, there's explosions over there. Those are his larva. And we're we're definitely continuing to heal. But we also have a heal. So once we get down to about 20 health. There we go. <laughs> there we go. And then these guys are going to explode around me. Really can't do anything about it. And try to get to where you can. There you go. And we get the leg. What's kind of odd about this is that the art for the leg. Uh, I may have no clue about uh, prosthetics. Actually, I don't. But the leg seems a little bit ahead of its time compared to. The fact that it looks like the legs that a lot of people are using now for running and whatnot for prosthetics. Let's go ahead and take a look at what we did loot. Um, so we got a gun. And it's a nice gun. As you saw, I had to identify what, what identify the weapon to see what all it had. But because it's something that I'm not going to be able to use, I'm going to go ahead and break it down. And I got a lot of parts from it, so I'm going to go ahead and put those parts down here. And those parts you can use to boost a weapon or armor. Uh, usually if it's an item that, was, um, that came from a weapon it's going to be a weapon that it will actually modify. If it came from armor, that it's going to boost armor. There we go, and we'll definitely go ahead and replace those. And this is probably going to just give me money because of the fact that it won't have components. And it did. Okay. So, we're going to do the same thing with this. And it gave us uh, another uh, palladium. And I think that's it with this give our aura of power. I think that's is that what we have? Renewal. Defense. Salvation. Okay. So we have that apparently. Um, I think you can only have one running at the same time. Let's see. When placing greater danger, Templar faith increases fueling re a regenerating holy power and effects. Okay, so pretty much just the same thing. Except for its power instead of health. Which I can't see using that much um, power that you would weren't needing that ability all right let's go ahead and keep going by the way for certain classes there are abilities that aren't a part of your tree that you can get like there's one for summoner that allows you to turn into a zombie and um i believe it is a health regen or it's a hit point to mana kind of like a necromancer all right, and wow, sweet gift. Let's go ahead and, and how? There we go, and then we have another quest that will take us to another area. But I think we're gonna go ahead and end here. I hope you liked the game. If you want more, if you had any other questions, or if you want me to play a different class, definitely let me know. By the way, there's one other thing I didn't show you. Go up to this lady, and she'll completely heal you. Uh, if you're you low better on not health. come back with the same cuts tomorrow. <laughs>
Alright, so anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day. This is Cypher Deck. Peace out.